Hello friends, this video on cell, the unit of life part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we will talk about the next cell organelle which is part of endomembrane system that is lysosome. So what are lysosomes? These are membrane bound vesicles containing a variety of digestive enzymes. So as I said, these are also produced from the from a portion of the Golgi uh, bodies. So they are nothing but containers with membranes around them and they contain a variety of digestive enzymes. So this is the uniqueness of lysosomes. The main important property of lysosome is that they have digestive enzymes which actually plays the most one of the one of the very important roles here inside the cell so where do we see lysosomes let us see in this picture this is where you have lysosomes so see this small area is nothing but lysosomes so if you look at the structure very closely they are surrounded by membrane and inside they have the digestive enzymes now, these, since all the digestive enzymes are located inside the membrane-bound lysosomes, so it helps the cell to keep these enzymes in isolated so that inappropriate digestion activity cannot take place. Because see, if there are so many digestive enzymes lying here and there, they can digest anything and everything. Correct? So in order to prevent that, they have been isolated and kept in separation inside the membrane-bound lysosomes. Talking about their shape, they can be spherical or irregular in shape. So no specific shape as such. And uh, let us look at them in animal cells. So as I said, this is where they are found in animal cells. And they are single membrane bound. So it is not a double membrane, but just one membrane which binds, which bounds the uh, lysosome. They also act as storage vesicles for digestive enzymes. So they help in storing the digestive enzymes so that they can be utilized as and when needed. They are also present in plant cells. They are often known as the suicidal bags of cell. A very interesting name, right? Suicidal bags. Why suicidal bags? Because they contain digestive enzymes. And just look at the variety of digestive enzymes which are present inside lysosomes. They have proteases, lipases, nucleases, glycosidases, phosphatases, so just look at the variety. They have almost all sort of digestive enzyme. Proteases can digest proteins. Lipases can digest lipids. Nucleases can digest nucleic acid. Glycosidases can digest carbohydrates or polysaccharides. Phosphatases can break the phosphodiester bonds in polynucleotides. So it can digest almost everything. So if these digestive enzymes are left free in the cytoplasm, we spoke, uh, we talked about this, right? That cytoplasm consists of a lot of enzymes, carbohydrates, proteins, fats. So proteins, lipids, all these things are present everywhere inside the cell, whether it is cell membrane or it is the cytoplasm or it is any other organ. So if you leave, set these enzymes free, they will just digest the entire cell itself. And the cell will die. So that is why they are called suicidal bags. Because sometimes without a constant input of energy, these enzymes start digesting the lysosomal membrane. That is the membrane inside which they are bound. Suppose this is the membrane which binds the lysosome. So inside this membrane, these enzymes are present. Right? Now what happens is when there is not proper energy available, these enzymes start digesting these wall itself. Now with time, when the membranes disintegrate, when these membranes disintegrate, the enzymes come out into the cytoplasm because they have, they have become able to break the boundary. So they come into the cytoplasm and then they destroy the entire cell because they, di they can digest everything, anything and everything which is there in the cell. So it can destroy the entire thing. So that is why they are called suicidal bags because lysosomes are produced from Golgi bodies. So that means cell produces lysosomes and lysosomes destroys the cell itself. That is why it is suicidal. 
and also the lysosome membrane is impermeable to outer movement of enzymes. Now, as long as this membrane is fine enough, these enzymes cannot move out because it is impermeable to outward movement. But due to, as I said, when there is not a constant source of energy available, then these enzymes start digesting the membrane itself and in due course of time, the membrane itself vanishes off. So look at this picture, you, it will give you a better picture. Here you have lysosome. So you see lysosome is as good as any other vesicle of the Golgi apparatus. It is just that this vesicle has, has all the digestive enzymes inside. Now let us look at the significance of lysosomes. It is not only that it can only destroy the entire cell. There are many advantages as well. For example, they can digest the waste materials or worn out organelles if some organelle is like spoiled. So who will digest it? So the lysosomes enzymes can digest it. Because there is another important property of lysosome membrane and that is it is capable of resisting the digestive action of the enzymes. Under normal condition when the membrane is fine, it can also control when the digestive activity should happen, when the digestive enzyme should not act. So it can control that also. So that is also a very good thing. Defense against bacterial and viral infection. Definitely because they have these strong powerful enzymes to fight against them. Waste disposal system of the cell of course. During cell damage, lysosomes burst and the enzymes digest their own cells. So that is why they are known as the suicidal bags of the cell. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.